gang, it's Chantel, aka Shani Blossom, and I'm back with another video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to comment in the comment section below. Thumbs up this video, like this video. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I think my battery is going to die and I don't want this video to be too long. I am gonna try to come back on here and show y'all how I use what I'm gonna be doing. So today, as y'all can tell by the title, it's going to be a haul, a Amazon haul, guys. I know, I know, I know. I spent all my money on Amazon, but let me introduce y'all to y'all friend, Malia, say hey. All right, we're just getting over a cold, as y'all all should know. Um, and excuse her room setup if y'all see anything. Um, it's gonna get back together. I usually keep her room like the cleanest out of all the rooms. But um, I'm gonna do this Amazon haul. Um, some things, um, like I said, please excuse them. Them clothes over there. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna handle all this. But um. We're in a weird space right now with Malia, and that is is that I want to start transitioning her, transitioning her to her crib because um, she started out in a bassinet. She started in a bassinet from like zero to like about four and a half months, um, and the bassinet that I use is right underneath her crib, and I'm gonna try to give that away or sell it. Um, however, she started getting really tall. My baby is a tall baby. She's not like a chunky baby, but a tall baby. She started getting really tall, and so we had to transition her from the Halo um, sleeper bassinet to uh, another um, mini baby trend. Um, it's a it's a bassinet and like a play yard and I'll show y'all what it looks like um, I'll probably insert a picture somewhere where y'all can see what it looks like now homegirl wasn't really trying to sleep in that she slept in that maybe like a total from like four and a half months all the way up until now approximately probably like maybe like five days <laughs> five to ten days at most and then I had to got like take her out and then put her on the bed so she's been basically co-sleeping with me um ever since that time frame and she's now seven months and she is actually about to be eight months guys so she's getting so big so your girl is growing up Oh my gosh so yeah um so basically um she's going through a little sickness now but we're on the men we're almost basically over it however i do want to start transitioning her to her crib because my girl had a accident she fell off the bed one night and i got so scared i called the doctor and everything but she's fine by the grace of god um but I got some things to help transition her to her crib and I'll show y'all her crib and then I'll show you the products and then I might come back on a little bit later. Come back on a little bit later and show y'all um, um, how it's working out for us. Um, and I don't know how this process is going to go, guys. I'm not a, like I told you, I don't know too much of nothing. But this is her crib, guys. So beautiful. This is a conversion crib so it can convert to um a toddler bed so we put it on the lowest setting it was higher but malia can now crawl she can cry yes she can yes she can so i'm about to show y'all because i believe my battery is gonna try to die on me <laughs> so i'm gonna show y'all what i got this is a mini amazon haul i'll try to keep y'all updated on how it's going if it's going or if it's not it, it could not actually I mean she could be like ma'am I'm not doing it <laughs> so <coughs> excuse me I got a little cough still too so um the first thing I got is this um blue snail um pack and play waterproof quilt quilted pack cover um and I don't know if y'all can see this now possibly it's this guys this quilted pad cover this is gonna I'm gonna show y'all what it's gonna go to so give me one second um, and so the next thing I'm gonna open is this box from Amazon so y'all know it's real okay Amazon gets all my coins guys all my coins and, all right so. all right it's okay mama Hold on, let me get her something to play with, guys. Be right back. All right. 
Yeah. Yeah. Get that. All right. Now, I'm supposed to have, oh, well, the diapers don't come until later. I also got some, um, these are some Jersey mini net two packs. Um, and I'm going to show y'all what these are going to be for, but I don't need to open them. Um, and let's see what this is. <sighs> Guys, oh my gosh. I have to be careful. I have to hurry up, really, because homegirl is being cranky with me. All right. Y'all, I bought something to help with the transition of trying to help her sleep in the bed. Like I said, we're not going to do it tonight. Um, Cause it's nine something at night right now. But I got me a sleeping bag, guys. I got a sleeping bag. Um, let me take it out the pack. Oh my gosh. I gotta hurry up, y'all. Cause my um, thingy's gonna start and she's crying. But I got a two fin sleeping bag to go on the floor while I help her transition. Give me one second, guys. This is about to die. All right, I'm back. This battery is going to die soon, too. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to be fast. Oh, this battery about to die now. So I have the Chico Alpha Light um, Ultra Lightweight Travel Play Yard, y'all. We need this for if she goes to her grandma's house and um, when we travel and stuff because she doesn't like being in the mini baby trim play yard. I might have to transition to my phone, guys. Um, just to give y'all this concept, but um, this is what it looks like And I'm gonna open it up now um, Because I might try to put her in here tonight But I do want to wash her sheets and stuff before we even try it So we're gonna see what it looks like out the pack and I'll be right back. Okay. Um, I Will show y'all me unboxing it, but I feel like it'll take up a lot of things So I might get that on my cell phone and I hate doing it on my cell phone guys, but I'll do it for y'all. Okay? Okay. on the main camera it looks really good very easy to set this up like I told y'all this is the Chico Alpha Light travel um, crib we're gonna be using this from now on I do want to transition her to her full crib but until then I'm gonna have her sleeping in this and then also um, get her used to it so that when we travel sorry guys she's she wants me to be right here I'm right here mama when we travel we'll be using this it's super lightweight y'all not heavy at all easy to put up and put down the baby the mini baby trend I love it it's cute and everything that junk is hard to put up and set up and take down and all that type of stuff this is easy and convenient for the moms out there if you need easy and convenient this is for you okay okay so I'm gonna be done with the video I just wanted to show y'all my mini haul I'm gonna wash the sheets and stuff that she's gonna use on it tonight so that we can use this tonight to get her used to it and then like I told y'all I'll try to document a little bit of me trying to attend 
All right, y'all, I had to come back on because like I told y'all, it cut off anyway. But I'm gonna try to document us attempting to put her in her crib at night. Um, I asked for anybody, excuse her nose, y'all, I gotta get it. But I asked for anybody that has done this before, give us tips and trips. I already received tips and trips from my mom and my dad. So that's why I ended up getting this and also getting a sleeping bag because when I start transitioning her, I'm going to be sleeping in here um, until I can transition back out to my bed. I don't know if that's right or not, but I'm just trying what I need to try right now. But um, yeah, we're going to see how it goes, guys. Um, Tonight, I'm going to allow her to sleep in the travel crib because I want her to get used to sleeping in it because when we... Um, go anywhere and travel I want her to like it and also I forgot to show y'all this let me show y'all this before I go um this I like it um because it actually has a zipper so you can actually um get in and out of this with your baby and I think this is you can actually lock it actually oh so that's cool so it's locked right now but if I unlock this and zip it, then I can get in there, in and out of there with the baby. So I'm going to try to get her used to this and her crib. Because when we go somewhere, I need her to be able to go to sleep in her own little bed. Not sleeping with us because I can sleep with her here. But because she pulled the little stunt that she did where she fell out the bed, I, I, I want her to be safe now. So tonight, I'm going to let her sleep in here. And then... So I'm gonna put it in her room. I'm gonna move the baby thingy and my in here until I sell it. Um, however, yeah, we're just trying new things, guys. This is motherhood. Um, I'm enjoying the journey, guys, because it's so much. What are you doing? Are you are you trying to break my camera? Y'all, she's look, she's trying to break the camera. Almost broke the camera, guys. Almost. Like, legit. I was trying to figure out. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> There's always something, guys. There's always something. So, I have to get her room back looking right because it's ratchet right now. But we're going to get together. I'm I'm hype, y'all. I'm hype. I'm hype. I'm hype because this product looks really good. So, if you're a mom, get, that, get those products I got. Um, I was scared because there's different products on the market. There's the Baby Bjorn and there's the, I think the Guava Lotus. And they cost a lot more money than this product. However, I was scared to get this product because this product is like half, well, not half of it, like a quarter um, cheaper. It's about, um... It's about $150. I got it on sale. It usually retails for $169, I believe, but I got it for like $152. Um, so get it while it's on sale on Amazon. But the baby Bajoran is almost $300. Excuse me. Excuse me. In the Lotus, you have to get a specialized, like, stuff to use it. And I just didn't want to pay for all of that. So I was like... I was debating whether I should get it, and now I'm really happy I got it, guys. So I have to rearrange some stuff in her room, have to do some stuff. Um, but yeah, the only thing I'm kind of concerned about with her crib is that I'm going to have to be very vigilant in getting her in and out of the crib because she already just pulled up, she already pulled up herself in the crib. So and she hurt her little hand and so i'm just like lord oh my goodness <laughs> y'all i'm just like yeah i have to like get in here be vigilant and get in here when i le like legit early so yeah let me get my stuff together wash some of this stuff so i can use it for her tonight and Cause it's like 10 something, but I'm not going to bed till about two or three tonight because I took a long nap and yeah, but, um, I'm about to get her room together. I'm selling some things. I am going to sell like her bassinet and her, whatchamacallit, but I was trying to hold on to the bassinet as long as I could. But if I mean, like, 
I don't know. I just be rambling sometimes and I be thinking about certain things. So I, you know, one of the things I thought about is like, are we going to have another baby? Like, but I know it's not going to be anytime soon. I don't want to have a baby no time soon. I want to, I want to wait like at least two years before I have another baby. I'm being so serious, y'all. I mean, if God plans it otherwise, but right now, two years, because then I can work out and feel better and have a little bit more, you know, free time instead of just always being pregnant all the whole time, you know, and that's a lot in your body. But um, if we have another one, it'll be like two years if we plan it. If it happens, it just happens. But that's what I want. Um, but I'm even like, do I want to have another one? Like, I'm, I'm thinking about, do I want to have another one or do I not? <laughs> that's the question that needs to be answered. But um, obviously, I just discussed that with my husband. So, yeah. So, I'm rambling at this point. Let me go ahead and go because the picture quality on my cell phone is not as good as it is on my camera and I'm trying to revamp and make y'all better. So let me not do that to y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge some stuff, put some stuff away. I'll talk to y'all later. Hope y'all having a great day. I will try to follow back up with y'all how it's going or how it's not going. Um, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!